Casey. Uh, I love that. <laughs> Why are you making that noise? Because you look so pretty. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nina and I'm Sri Lankan American. Over the last couple years, I've been trying to connect to my heritage a little bit more through fashion and style. A few years ago, I wrote an article about wearing saris to work for a week. I wanted to try and recreate that again, but with like a little twist. All of the saris that I have, I've gotten to wear to weddings and like really formal events. So they're heavily embroidered, like super sparkly, super shiny and bejeweled. They're really cool and really beautiful, but not suitable for everyday wear. My life isn't that bougie. So I wanted to try combining saris with some existing pieces I already have and making it work for my everyday kind of wardrobe because I really do love the look of saris and I wish I had more opportunities to wear them so I'm gonna make my own opportunities to wear them. I understand that <laughs> In South Asia, there are millions of people who wear saris every day casually and it's totally normal for them. But here in the West, it's definitely not as common, which is why I wanna give it a try. Saris are basically like pieces of fabric that are about six yards long and there's multiple ways to drape them. I can only do one like sort of okay, but I think for this experiment, I'm going to have to learn some other ways. So this week, I think I'm gonna try to drape these saris in three different styles. I'm gonna gonna try a drape with jeans, a drape styled like a dhoti, and a drape styled like a dress. All right, let's do it. Let's see how it goes. It is day one, AKA the day I decided to wear jeans. I decided that this is gonna be the outfit underneath the sari. My mom lent me a bunch of saris. I feel like this one is the one that's gonna like work for today. I'm going to attempt it now, but I feel like I need to preface this whole video by saying that I am not good at pleating. We're gonna see how it turns out. I feel like this is gonna take me like half an hour. <laughs> Update, I pleated the pallu off camera, which is like the part that goes over the shoulder. Still working on the bottom pleats. I feel like I'm not doing a good job. Okay, it's like a million years later and I finally did some maybe okay waist pleats. I think I did like not terrible. It's definitely a bit showier than I probably go for at work, but I'm kind of into it. I love this. You like it? Yes, I love that you're wearing jeans with it. I love the material. Do you think I'm making it work? Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. It's stunning on me. Casey. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Why are you making that noise? Because you look so pretty. Thank you. So I just got lunch and the lady at the lunch place was like, oh, I, I love your wraparound. It's so cool. And I was like, a wraparound? Like, I feel like you can still tell it's a sari, but because it's not draped in a more traditional way, it is losing kind of some of its sariness. I think it goes actually quite well because I sometimes think of saris as like very, very decorative. I feel like this one's a little more like daytime. And so it kind of goes with like t-shirts and jeans. We just went on a very casual movie date and I feel like this outfit held up during it. You found a way to light up a dark room. Aww. Today started a little bit rocky, but after I finally got it on and looking halfway decent, I felt like today went really well. I felt comfortable and it really felt natural to me. I found myself today also walking with more confidence. Like I had a little strut going on today. I'm excited to see what the next couple days bring. Today I am going to try to wear a dhoti style sari, which is different than a traditional sari because it wraps around both legs. I'm just doing like leggings and a cropped hoodie. This is a look that I would wear to work normally and I feel like I'm just throwing a sari on top of it in a cool way. I've watched a couple tutorials and they all say, this isn't easy. I feel like this is gonna take me a while. We're gonna try this one. I am sweating trying to do this hip pleat part. I ended up with these really uneven leg lengths and so now, I have to do it all over again. <laughs> Holy shit. 
that took me so long. I did something. It definitely has this like doti feel. I was cursing. I feel like I've used like a hundred pins. I pricked myself a thousand times all to achieve this effortless look. I think you look hot. Do you like the combo of South Asian and Western clothing? Yes. I think you should make it a more regular thing. It's a beautiful color. Yeah. yeah I'm colorblind, but I can still tell. It's draped like pants. I didn't even notice that before. It looks cool though. I just realized that I have to use the bathroom. It's pinned to my leggings, so I can't really like stretch my leggings and just like pull them down. I'm gonna have to replete this. I think I didn't think about any of this. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this, so it's pretty cool. It took me a really long time to pleat and drape it properly. Don't beat yourself up over it. That's hard. I mean, how many people in the U.S. are actually yeah. doing this every day? You're not in Daisy Land. You're good. I've been wearing the sari throughout the whole work day. I feel like I have barely even noticed it. It's really nice. It's just like a gauzy breeze on my legs. I felt really cool in this outfit. And then I even went to trivia at a bar tonight and I felt pretty chill in this. If I had to do it again, I might try to find some way to pleat it or pin it that made it easier to take on and off. This was just a really cool way to transform something I already own. I found a cool tutorial that makes a short dress, which I like, cause I like a short dress and a short skirt. So gonna give it a try. I think I wanna use this guy because I feel like He'll do the best with this tutorial I found. I might have to have some fun with the end here. I just pulled this like embroidered end of the sari up and pinned it to my tank top. And then I'm just gonna bring this guy around and see if it works. I think this is a little more of what I'm going for, but I do think I want to throw that jacket on this. It's not perfect. There's definitely still a little bulk action happening here. I made some adjustments to make it work for me, and I, I think it's kind of cute. You're looking very fancy today. I saw this first, and then I saw the colors in that, and I was like, oh, yes. Looks like a nice summer. I like the pairing with the green jacket a lot, and I like that it's sort of high to low. I think you are working it really well. This video has weirdly turned into me reviewing sorry bathroom viability, but I must point out that this one very easy. It doesn't look like a sari. It looks more comfortable and at least you wouldn't be dragging your feet all around I like know. a normal one. I know. I think you're 100% pulling it off. All okay. right. My leg is popping out quite a bit. It's weird because it's really different than what you normally wear, but at the same time, it doesn't look like unusual. It just looks like a chic, cute summer dress. It's actually a sari. It's a sari? I see the sari, but also it just looks like more mainstream American outfit. I'm about to go run some errands. I am going to pin the bottom closed a little bit more so my leg isn't popping out at the grocery store quite so much. I'm wearing the sari in the grocery store and it feels pretty natural to be quite honest. I, I like it. So it's the end of day three in this outfit. I feel so comfortable in it that I didn't even feel the need to like change as soon as I got in the door. All of my saris have like fancy work at the end of them. And I think this is cool because it still allows you to show it off, but it has a little more comfort to it. I think in the future, I would just add probably a couple more pins or something something to keep it more in place. So my little experiment is over. I'm kind of sad about it. I feel very inspired by this challenge. I wanna go out and buy a bunch of saris and different prints to like mix into my current wardrobe. I think this challenge really reinforced the idea that wearing and draping saris is really an art form. You have to practice to get better at it and a little bit easier each day. I also love that I got a firsthand look at how practical a lot of these tutorials were because there are a lot of tutorials about how to transform your saris, but there aren't a lot of people actually going out into the world and experiencing them. Mixing these saris with my Western looks just really boosted my confidence. I felt so cool and so hip and just so on another level than I normally feel. I'm proud to be Sri Lankan American and I'm glad I found a new way to show off my culture and rock it.